little greasy. Leaves to hold the moisture out. Yeah. Nothing to do with all the rain we had this weekend. Yeah. Let's go, Scotty. Oop, there he goes. I don't think he realized he's the one pulling. Pull, Scotty. Pull, Scotty. Pull, pull. The opposite. The squirrel nuts is right. It's somebody else. I'm oh, great. Here we go. Interfering with somebody else. See, this is a landing. That's the Cushman. There's some nice cherry to chip. Good logs look like they're out there. Oh, there's some big trees out there, hey, Alan. Slash up. Oh, look at the tear yeah. apart that one. Yeah. Not that part down. Move it out. He shoves it out of the way. Where you want this at, Jack? At the landing. Uh, I'm not quite sure yet. Wherever you want her. It. it looks like He's that bundle's coming hill. out here. Is this the landing right here? I think that's where you want to. Uh, I want to spin us around so we can back her in. Okay. Oh, yeah. There's some logs out there, Alan. A couple. Yeah. Oh yeah, Scotty. There goes my neck. We're gonna have to get out. Yeah, we're both gonna get out. We need a break. There's something that blew my mind. There's tomatoes everywhere out here. But, that doesn't work. Slasher's messed up big time. Saw motor is not turning at all like it should. At all like it should. It, it can't cut. So this machine's virtually useless. I cut into this six or seven times. I called Alan, he's on his way back in. It's not. Something's, not. something's up with the motor. All I know is this hose right there, when you rev it up, it jumps right up like it's holding pressure. Yeah. And it used to always fall back down. Now it just stays up. It gives it the pressure, but it's something's not. wrong in there. Something's not right in the, yeah, and there's some in the saw motor. In I know there is, but I can't cut them with this. <laughs> you see how many times I tried to cut that one and it won't cut oh, through it. Man. I hit it like five times, it won't. This thing will not build the right pressure. <clears throat> I mean, not to build the right pressure, but yeah. something is up with that motor. I don't know what it is. I knew something was wrong with the shop when... You used to spin it backwards, it used to stop itself. Yeah. And then go forward. No, it doesn't stop itself. It used to pressure up and it'd spin back the other way. Yeah. Because it only wants to go one direction. So what's up with that, Scotty? No, I don't know. 
you got the pressure, it's something in that motor. It sounds like it's not. Yeah. yeah. Could that pump be airlocked? Or motor be airlocked? No, because that'd be the pump that would be airlocked. No. Oh gosh. Is there air in it? No, because I don't think so. It wouldn't be working at all. Hmm. I guess. Alan's coming back. Pick her up. Not good. Now we we're looking forward to it. Big timber. Is this a Looks like it. Well, that's a hard one, though, eh? Yeah. How many acres are here? Uh, 68. 68? Yep. I guess is taking that pine. Taking that pine? Zip all the hardwood down. I'm surprised you didn't. I asked him, I said, Are you taking the hardwood over, over yeah. there? But he said, Yeah. Yeah. That's really weird. Huh. Scotty just asked me. He was up here and said, is this a select cut? Yeah, it's a select cut. Because if Adam was clear cut, then it'd be clear cut. So, kind of what's going on is we're kind of taking the nastier stuff. Like this uh, beech tree here. This dead limb. It's, it's on its way out. It's dying. Get it out of here. But you can see a lot of the young, younger saplings there. Nice straight ones are being left. And everything else is kind of, we'll take all the junk. All the junk and a couple decent ones maybe. I don't know. But you can see how they're all nice straight poles. And he cut that nasty one on the way in. That was junk. We'll make quick work of that. But as you can kind of tell, like he's been up through here. He cut a lane up through here, a lane up through here, a lane up through here. That's all getting left in there. So, um... Nice single trees left standing. It'll look pretty back in here when we're done. So, kind of what's going on. It looks really pretty. It'll look really nice back in here. Boy, it's a good hill there. I so said there's some hills around these areas. But anywho, can't really do a whole lot with that not working like it should. That's kind of frustrating. And by kind of, I mean a whole lot. So, ain't doing nothing. So that's fixed, and I'm, he's gonna run and grab me some wrenches. I'm gonna check a couple things if we can't get her fixed right. Um, we'll bring a truck back in here and get it out of here today. See how fast we can get it fixed. Like I said, I'd have liked to uh, slash a little more. Yeah, <laughs> a little bit. So like what happens here, I need, to, I need to stack my logs here, log truck here, a lane for the skidders to come through, a chipper, then a lane for the skitters to go through on the other side. We've got to have a really wide landing for everything to work out perfect. So that's kind of why there's this big gap here. And there's a big gap over there. Situating this kind of... I, I, I never like to bring the slash in here before the chipper. Because the chipper is the hardest thing to move. So we usually like to set the chipper up and then build around it. But in the unfortunate circumstances, we had to set this up first. Now we're even more unfortunate circumstances. Yeah, everything's just gone downhill real quick. So. Scotty went to get me a couple wrenches. That's Jordan, and the truck just made it back in. So uh, hopefully, he can get me some tools. Check a couple things. <clears throat> I'm no genius, not in the slightest. So I'll do a couple quick tests on stuff to see if we can figure something out. If we can't, then we're gonna get it out of here. But, you gotta just keep rolling, everybody. Thanks for watching our uh, fail today. Fail. Miserable. Miserable. We'll catch everybody later.